Hey, good morning, everyone. Dave the Wild Flipper here with Wild Hail Sales. So glad to have you back. We've kind of been off on our videos a little bit because things have been really busy and crazy, and we went on vacation, and it's all kinds of just nuts. Um, we've also had a lot of stuff to process in and a lot of stuff to kind of process out. We're going to show you some of the in and out today, uh, but we're going to dive into some sales real quick. That's the going out portion of the video, in case that wasn't somehow. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sometimes not clear, so it's cool. Um, we've got some interesting stuff here. Uh, we've got some jewelry going out. Let's see which one I open here. Oh, it's a large face watch. Mm -hmm. And it's got a name. What is that? Win Winchy. Winchy. Uh, Winchy large face watch, quartz. Uh, and Lisa here has been put, taken, totally taken over jewelry and discovered just how tedious putting jewelry on can be. It is the most tedious thing to list. My poor dear. As much as I love sorting I know I and love sorting playing it. with it's, jewelry, it can, be, it can really be... It is tedious to yeah, list. And I gotta, think that went for $5 at our 40% $4.80 is, yeah. is what this went out for. $4.80. We got another piece of jewelry, though. Uh, this looks like some... That's a sterling. That's, oh, there it is. This, I was going to say this doesn't look not earrings. It's the Silpata cross. Yes. Sterling silver, nine twenty five, and I gave out so many offers on this. It just kept expiring and coming back. I send offers all the time. I just do lots of that. If you're watching something, you're probably going to get an offer, and mm -hmm. I don't mind doing that because I'm still making a profit. It's still a sale. We want those sales. You get lots of sales. You're doing good. This, despite all the offers I sent on it, went for asking price. So someone finally just nabbed it for twenty one thirty nine. All right. And this month we're doing a big forty percent off sale. That's larger than we normally do, but we're doing it because of the time of the year. We're trying to kind of drum up some of those early Christmas sales. We know people are looking, and just trying to keep things interesting too. So, you know. Um, High points and low points. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go right to the, the high point, And that would be these dollhouse cars. This is from the dollhouse venture from that storage unit we bought. Little toy cars. That Just little cars that are meant to be, oddly enough, in a dollhouse. And these went for $28.59. $28.59. Nice. Really nice. Dollhouse miniatures sell, and if you can get some of them and get them on your shop, especially, especially the vintage ones, and sometimes things that people artisan put together out of them. So we do have a couple of high dollar ones that people have been iffy on. They're watching it, but they're still iffy, so I'm probably going to wind up bringing down the price a little bit. Sometimes you got to do that. Better to bring down the price and get a sale than have then, it Than have it sit there forever. forever. Yeah, exactly. and never go anywhere. Exactly. So, uh, interesting things going out the door. We've got an 8-track, and I don't do a lot of 8-tracks because they're very iffy. But if you find some of the right ones, like some of the good hard rock 8-tracks, people seem to like those. Country, mm, uh, rap, pretty good. This, I, I just got it in, in a box with an auction of a bunch of other tapes and, and CDs. May as well put it on, right? Well, what it is, is today's TV hits, which obviously isn't today, it's back then. <laughs> but it's got, uh, we'll see if you recognize any of these, Welcome Back, which is from Welcome Back, Back Cotter. Cotter. Mm -hmm. Beretta's theme, obvious. Mm -hmm. Happy Days, the theme from SWAT, Chico and the Man, Star Trek, Moving On, Making Our Dreams Come True from uh, Laverne and, and Shirley, Shirley. Yeah. and Mission Impossible. And this 8-track... Went for five dollars and seventy nine cents. Honestly, that's good for an eight track. That's mm -hmm. pretty nice. Um, I do have kind of a minimum scale I put things at, but we're gonna see in a minute. Something went out for really cheap. We're not getting much out of it at all. <laughs> but honestly, it came with a whole bunch of others. So having it sell is just fine. But between these two, it surprised me that they didn't go faster. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. We also have some charming tales here. It is a thank you. 
I love Charming Tales. We I got really quite did. a few of these. It was really cool. Now, let me tell you, recently, like before we went to vacation, we found an auction. There was like several lots on this auction. Jam-packed with these. I don't know. It was, what, 80? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Well, 80 to 100 of them. We got outbid. We got so sorely outbid. And I was just, oh, you get so down when you're trying to grab something you know is going to go really good on your shop. And you just can't get it. And, you know, that's the name of the game. Sometimes you just can't. You know, no matter how bad you want it, you can't go so high that selling it won't do anything for you. And you're not going to get it for all that low when everyone else knows what you know. But this little guy, he didn't go for a lot. Um, he went for $4.59. So he's definitely one of the lower ones, but a lot of them I've had go out of here for up in the 20s and even one in the 30s. So that's really nice. Charming Tales sell. Um, the ones that, yeah, out of those, Charming Tales is by Fitz and Floyd. Mm -hmm. And then Blushing Bunnies by Inesco. Those are some of the things, and I have some Blushing Bunnies coming up. I don't have them out for you to see, but I do have them coming up. They sell, and they're good. They're better than the bears, okay? They're better than... Better um, than Cherish Teddies. When better you Cherish Teddies, yeah. yeah. Cherish Teddies don't have the speed they used to, but the bunnies and the charming tails still do. So look out for those. Um, we've got a pair of calculators going out together. See if you recognize those. Those are from uh, the 70s and 80s. And as far as I know, as far as I can figure, I can't get them to work. So I put them on for parts. Now, here's the fun thing about these. When you find some of these old handheld games and some of these really old, you know, fun calculators like these, they can still sell even if they don't work. These went for $4 each to the same person. So it's an $8 sale. And when you're talking for parts, an $8 sale is pretty good. And I didn't pay that much for them. So... That's actually decent. I still have a few others, um, and they don't work, and a couple of those have sold, too. I got them in a, in a lot. And uh, one of the things that you want is you want that intact. Mm -hmm. You want the battery cover intact. Um, people are kind of odd about that. Unless it has a wire to plug in, I did have a radio cell without its battery cover because you could still plug it in. No battery cover, it's like, how are you going to keep the batteries in? I don't want it. So, but even not working, and who knows, maybe they'll, maybe they've got the magic fingers, they'll put the batteries in and it works for them. Good for them, <laughs> okay? Um, I only have so much time to tinker with it. I'm not that kind of tech savvy. I can't repair it. So I'd rather have them buy it that way. I still get the sale. It's still good. All right, let's get to... <clears throat> Let's keep going here. We got a mug with art by Roger Kibbe, who does art for a website called The Dog On, I think. I think this is a Samoid. And I think the buyer agreed with me. Now, I didn't see a lot of his stuff selling. I saw only four or five of his things on at all, and none were sold. So I was like, well, I got this in a thrift stop out on our vacation. We'll just see. Well, $14.65 later, we see. It's sold. So sometimes, you know, taking the chance isn't always bad. Sometimes it works out pretty good, and at least you get a few dollars out of it, you're good. Uh, let's have a look at the ones that surprised me. Uh, we've got a tape, Shaquille O'Neal, when he decided, I guess, to go into music a little bit. <laughs> called Shaq Diesel. Now, for a cassette tape, this sold decently. It went for $6. It took a while to sell it, though. I was kind of surprised I didn't see it go very fast because I thought this just might have the collectors. But there's quite a few of them, as it turns out, on eBay. So I didn't know, but I'm pretty happy to have six out of it. I wasn't sure it was going to go for five. So I sent an offer on it. They took it, and that's going out for six. Shaggy. Wouldn't me? Yeah, it wasn't him. It wasn't him that went for anything in the way of a profit. <laughs> because Shaggy here 
what is going out the door for two dollars and seventy five cents it wasn't him no it wasn't <laughs> him at all i was surprised because this was such a hot song in its time i thought people would grab it you know no it it wound up i mean i think i saw others on there that sold for a dollar <laughs> and i'm like i'm not gonna put anything on for a dollar i'm gonna get a little more than that out of it i just won't I might go down to 465 before it hits the 30 or 40 percent off margin, but yeah, he went out. It wasn't him <laughs> at all. Now let's have a look at this, and we're gonna mention a couple things about it. This is uh, sold. This is a mega size mini muffin pan, and it's going out the door for eight dollars. So it's not a big sale, but it is a big ship. Now, this is going to wind up going UPS. I do have a box for it. It is definitely too big for uh, the post office. But I got to tell you, there's been a lot of talk about how the post office has raised and added fees, and you need to be wary of them. Once you go over 22 inches long, the first thing you get hit with is a $4. Well, I, I call it a penalty, uh, but it's a fee. And then you get another one at another rate out that I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm making it so I don't have to worry about remembering it because I'm going to send those things UPS. I'm, I'm just, or FedEx. But UPS has been really good for us in this area. So let's have a look at this. This is almost that 22 inches long, which means the box definitely will be. And I got the box right back here. Mm. I already sized them up together. And I may even lose a couple dollars off of this, but I got to tell you, um, we're probably not going to be grabbing things this size in the future, unless we're really sure we could turn a good profit for it and the shipping isn't going to murder us and our, and our customer. You know, I mean, we've got a couple of things that are big, but the hassle, you know, you've got to figure that one of the things you have that you don't really look at in the money aspect is your time and effort. And the more time and effort it takes to do any part of your business, that's time that could have been put into something else making you that money. So you got to balance it out and make sure it's what's good for you. Now, these things may be awesome for you. Doing larges may be your thing. So don't think I'm telling you not to do that. I'm saying for us... Probably not so much. Probably going to slow down on the great big things because we don't like the costs or the hassle. And we're working out of our home too. So it's not ideal for us. I can do Frankenstein boxing all day long. I actually kind of enjoy it. But it's, it's a lot of work. So there you have it. What kind of things do I have coming into the shop? Well, let's, let's do a little sharing. First of all, we got these guys out there at the uh, Goodwill bins, and they're in pretty good shape. I cleaned them up with some Tide Wipes. There's still a couple tiny stains here or there. I might give them another little bit of a wiping, but you can see they're the same. Um, I'm going to have to look it up to know which little pony this is. If, if you do, then awesome, but um, it's, I don't think it's Pinkie Pie. Yeah, don't ask me. I, yeah. I'm not a... Yeah, how many can you name? I, I can name Pinkie Pie because I know the name. I recently saw it. We've got this guy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. He's the wolf. And I cleaned him up. Now, his problem is right back here. See that kind of purplish stain he's mm -hmm. got? But that might be forgivable. You just have to try and make sure they know it. He is collectible. He goes on general for around $25. But here's the thing for this. If he doesn't sell, and I'm going to give him a little while. Give him, I'll give him a few months. I'll give him through Christmas. If he doesn't sell, I'm giving him to my son, who's a big fan of Bendy the Machine. So I got plans for it. That works. Now, um, also coming up, we got some funny things like some uh, brand new kite cord. I don't know what that'll go for. We've got a nutcracker <laughs> from Germany. Uh, has, what is this, Rothenburg, Germany, 
Now it's interesting, he still has his original price tag where he sold for $25. Mm. So there's a little hope in this, and these guys do kind of sell. Um, you gotta have the right ones. I've gotta go through these uh, Olympic horse pins. A lot of them are from the Olympics for horse riding. Equestrian. It, thank you. Equestrian. You like them? Sure, that's great. Uh, I've got several of these little guys here that I'm going to put on. i got to dig them out of a box. Uh, they are forest friends. Aww. And I don't know if they were from, I don't think they were from Hallmark, but they were from one of those places. And we've got several of these yearly things that we picked up at somebody's estate sale. We got a funny little sightseeing bus. I think I showed this before. You may have, yeah. Some thimbles and some radios. Now, let's talk about that for a minute. I'm throwing lots of stuff into this video because I want to give you a lot to think about. Let's hop over here for a minute. I'm going to turn this light on. I'm not going to cook anything, I promise. Um, but we got some cool vintage radios. Now, the thing about these is you do have to make sure that they work. Let's see, these go like this. Let's have a look at this one. It is a, these are both General Electrics and they're about the same make, a little bit different ages maybe. But the difference on these from your casual AM FM radio is that, well, this one originally picked up TV stations and you could listen to your TV shows while you were out and about or something. Or, you could even plug this into your TV and listen on it. Well, <clears throat> most people don't need that, but the thing is this is vintage, and vintage sells. And we've sold a few nice old radios, but you gotta know, does it work? So we're gonna plug this baby in. Let's see here, what do we got here? How do we turn you on? Oh. 13 member Sarah. When you order a Culver's Butter Burger, you're never just a Culver's Yeah! How about that? <laughs> that that works. Right now, i got to be careful. I don't want to get hit with uh, copyright. any copyright infringements. But <clears throat> that works, and that is a big plus. And we, in, in, you know, that's in there real nice. You saw it didn't really need it. But you got to, you know, check these. Now... The TV bands are not going to work, and I looked this up and I read about it. There, it can't. There's none out there. You're not going to tune in on any TV bands now. It's all digital age. But you can plug this. There's a workaround, if you look it up online, to plug this into your TV set. So um, it does have its battery port on it, and it does have, even though it's a little bit swinging loose, okay, uh, a fully intact antenna. We will be doing a little cleaning up on that. Yeah, we wipe them. I don't do a lot, a lot of cleaning. <clears throat> I wipe it down in general. Let's see what we get out of this guy. But... Donald Trump, and less so a referendum about President Biden and his administration and what he has done over the last year and a half. That's good enough for me. Not playing a song. Uh, I don't want to get political. Please, that... that. I didn't know that was going to come up, okay? <laughs> Don't have that up here. <laughs> so, but they work. So what will they go for? Well, I've got to comp them yet. I've seen some going as high as 30. So that's really good. Uh, what did we get for our, what did we pay for our lot of radios? $10 for that. $10 for the whole lot. That's uh -huh. sweet. Now Plus shipping, got... which was about <sighs> 20 so. Shipping. Yeah. Well, $20 shipping for all these radios uh, is actually. We've got this, and this is not going to work. I know it's not going to work because one of the bulbs is rattling around. Let me see if I can get it to... It no, doesn't want no, to No, it doesn't want to make the noise. But it's got a bulb loose, and I'm pretty sure that means it's not going to work. Um, but this is a very old radio, and here, again, these can sell for parts. You don't get as much money when you do that, but they will buy them because they want their original to work. And they know what they're doing. It's their hobby. So you got the hobbyists out there who know how to take the back off of this. I don't, so I'm not going to do it. Um, and you can still sell these old radios. Then we got this little puppy here. <clears throat> Let's go back over here to the table where I have the batteries. That 
looks like it takes double A's. This is a Tropicana Pure Premium Radio, which I thought was cute to come with this, but let's just go ahead and, uh, they both, they both go that way? That's what it says. Let's have a look here. AM, FM. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Wow, when they get in there, you got to work them out. I used a toothpick, no wonder. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me make sure that's in right. Cause it... Oh, come on, come out. Tell you what, they don't make that easy at all. I tell you what, hold on one second. Let me pause. Yeah, let's pause this for a second. Okay, <laughs> okay well, that was a lot of fun. It doesn't work. So sad. Uh, I found where the power goes on at, click, yeah. click, and uh, no sound, no tuning. So sad. I don't know. This might still sell for the novelty of it. It might still sell for parts. If somebody, again, you know, people want radio parts, they'll grab these. I haven't comped it. I'll look it up. If this, if it doesn't go on, if it doesn't sell, we'll just wind up putting it in a, in a yard sale for someone else, or, I don't know. I don't know what will happen to it. <laughs> Electronic recycle. Electronic recycle. That that can happen. You know, and that happens. So, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, what What are your thoughts on on some of this? Uh, any questions you have? Any, any of your experiences that go with any of these things? Please hit us up. Talk to us. We'd love to have you talk to us, and I promise we'll respond. Um... <clears throat> And, you know, today I'm getting geared up for uh, packing and shipping and probably a photo unit before I have today's uh, video game breakdown day, which is part of my not doing anything else. It's Sunday, okay? So I'll get a few posts on and then I'm going to... And that's, you know, I think you need a brain break. You do. I know I do. My brain can't do it all. So, boy, you know, I hope that you will consider subscribing to us to follow our journey. Please give us a like, thumbs up. We love that. We love having you here. And tune in to see what kind of crazy stuff we're into next time. See ya.